Hello, hello, mom and dad meet world viewers. So there's been a lot made of Apple's end-to-end -end encryption for iCloud, which I believe is a very good thing, but it was not as easy as Apple had made me think, because uh, as you're gonna see in this video, this wasn't just a one and done thing. This was, this was actually over a couple weeks from the moment that Apple had released this um, to the moment uh, just a few days ago where we're gonna walk through a little bit of what I did to help myself enable advanced data protection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings, then we're gonna tap on our name at the top where it says iCloud and the name of our Apple ID, and then we're gonna go down to iCloud and then we're gonna go to advanced data protection. And then from here, what I did is I went to set up an account recovery contact. So I am already a recovery person for another account and so you see that there that's kind of blanked out. But what we actually want to do is also add a recovery contact ourselves because we want to make sure that if we do get locked out, that there will be another recovery contact to help us make sure we can get back and recover our own data and we don't get locked out of our own data. But in this situation right here, as we're doing this in real time, when I went to add my recovery contact, uh, it had actually prompted me that I need to update my devices, meaning I need to take these devices and actually remove them from my Apple ID, which means I need to disassociate these three particular devices from my Apple ID. So that involves going back to settings, tapping on my name again at the top, and it'll bring me down to the bottom, the list of devices that I have, and I will just need to click remove from account. So you definitely need to, to make sure re you remove all the devices that are not compatible with the new iOS or else it will not let you go into advanced data protection. From here, we can finally go back and finally get to add our recovery contact. And from here, I've got this uh, blanked out, but this is uh, our family share list right here where I am the main person on the family share where I'm just picking a family member here. And what it'll do is it'll actually send them a text message and it'll actually prompt them and let them know to become the recovery person in case I ever need to gain access to my own account and I, if I ever lock myself out of this account that it's pretty much letting me know, hey, the request has been sent to them but it will actually need to be accepted by them because I've actually tried and until the other person had accepted, it was actually not letting me um, turn on advanced data protection. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our verify recovery key where it's gonna prompt us to um, set up a recovery key what i did was took a screenshot of this recovery key and make sure i saved it and then it'll have us verify and now it's, it's prompting us to update our devices that are compatible with the newest ios so i've got a homepod mini and a couple different apple tvs here that basically they are 100 percent compatible with the new ios but because I have not yet up updated those that I needed to. So this, I'm just going into my home and it's downloading the newest uh, HomePod Mini update for our HomePod Mini. And then from here, we're gonna try yet again. So settings, tap on our name at the top, tap on iCloud, tap on advanced data protection. And we're finally gonna get to turn on advanced data protection so we're just doing a review this is my recovery contact person it's just telling us here then remember that recovery key it wants us to verify that we indeed do have that recovery key and it wants us to enter our iphone passcode and then from here as you will see this has been fast forwarded about 200 percent but here in a short bit we will actually be successful so Long and short of what we did here is we made sure our recovery contact was sent and they had accepted. We had our recovery key turned on. We removed any unnecessary devices or any devices that were not compatible with the new iOS and devices that were compatible with the new iOS. We had updated to the newest iOS to make sure everything was compatible with advanced data protection. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped you out. Thank you very much for watching. If this did help you, please like and subscribe. Thank you again very, very much.